Hi, this is Christine with Where is Watson? Today, I'm with one of our instructors in our uh, business and IT school, Karen Cable. She's been with the college for about two years, uh, and she came to us from Great West Life, but her entire career has been around IT risk management. Karen just finished um, teaching a course in IT risk management and is going to tell us a little bit about the experience that she took her students through, what they learned, and how it really benefited from uh, walking through this pandemic right now. So welcome, Karen. Thanks very much for joining me. Good morning, everyone. Um, so the risk, IT risk management course, it's all about identifying buying and analyzing and controlling uh, risks and threats to an organization. And as part of um, that journey with the students, um, we look at emerging threats and vulnerabilities and organization faces, um, and we look at all their critical business processes and functions to see what would happen if uh, something should happen to them doing a business impact assessment. We then go on to do a risk uh, assessment of the organization. And in our case, the students used the bank. And um, as after they identified all these risks, we had to come up with solutions uh, for um, protecting the organization. And one of the solutions that the students uh, went through was creating a business continuity and disaster recovery plan. And while they were doing it, it happened And several of the students came to me and said, this is exciting, we're living it. I know how to do my assignments. <laughs> we're seeing what's happening, we're seeing what's uh, happening at our, our work, um, at the school, within the government. So as they went through that process, they created the plans. And after uh, the plans were created in April, they were a table talk exercise tester plan. So we all got on Microsoft Teams and um, everybody read out different scenarios and uh, other students asked questions and um, talked through these different scenarios and looked at their plans to see if they had solutions for that. So some of the examples would be fires, the COVID-19, floods, uh, things that uh, they had never actually thought about before until COVID-19 and going through this exercise. Um, so we got through that. Everybody was fully engaged and excited about it because they knew exactly what to do. Um, I kept asking, does anybody need help? And everybody goes, no, I know exactly what I need to put. Um, so we got through that at the end um, of class. Um, everyone said, I asked for comments and several students said, as bad as COVID-19 was, it made their whole exercise around risk management so real and uh, they were excited by the whole experience. So, um, which was very fulfilling for myself, watching them get uh, through the process. Um, they did, some. several students identified COVID-19 as a black swan event. Um, anybody who doesn't know what a black swan event is, similar to 9-11, it's low probability of it ever happening. But when it did happen, it was extreme. And they um, all voted that uh, COVID-19 was their black swan event uh, that they're going to monitor um, over the next few months. Uh, That's you. wonderful, Karen. I, I have never heard of black swan events before. So thank you for sharing that with us. And I'm so grateful to you as the instructor who was able to also pivot uh, your own teaching to do alternate delivery and uh, and learn how to do that at the same time that our students were learning how to uh, learn in a different way and then to live uh, this whole pandemic at a time when 
uh, we know many, many organizations, including our own, we're really relying on our uh, business continuity plans and our disaster recovery plans to pivot so quickly in an environment that was changing so rapidly. So um, I'm so grateful that we now have students who can go and benefit their organizations uh, to do just that. And I'm so grateful for experts like you and our uh, health and safety team who are able to help this, the uh, college navigate in the same way. So thank you very much for sharing that experience with us. Thank you for supporting our students. Um, and I hope that you're taking care and I look forward to meeting you and the students back on campus when we get the opportunity to do so. Thank you. Take care, Karen. Okay, thanks.